Good afternoon. Flooding is impacting nearly every corner of the state. In southern New Mexico, some people had to be rescued from rising waters along the Pecos. News 13's George Gonzalez is live in Dexter with a look. George. We well, yeah, Kim, this road and others in the area have been blocked off since yesterday, warning people of the dangers. As you can see, how bad the conditions have gotten with crews warning people to stay away, but some people just aren't paying attention. Some people that were actually, uh, I guess, trying to vacate their house or get out of it. it their house was completely surrounded and full of water. Um, I somehow got in their vehicle. I'm not really quite sure what they were doing. Uh, got in their vehicle, um, ended up the vehicle was completely surrounded and started sinking. A Dexter Fire Chief Justin Powell says the rescue took about 25 minutes, but it was difficult for crews to actually reach the three women who were trapped on top of their vehicles. Now, multiple agencies had to lend a hand, including Dexter, Roswell, and East Grand Plains fire crews. Now, you can see just how bad conditions have gotten in the area since heavy rain over the weekend caused the banks along the Pecos River to break, leading to a surge in water levels, leaving roads flooded and homes partially submerged. But it is a lot of water. I, I cannot express that. It, it is a ton of water, and I don't think people really grasp that until they see it a, a mile wide or, you know, where part of this is running right now is, is a mile or a mile and a half from the river itself. There's water over here. Now, Chief Powell says he's afraid there may be more calls for people needing to be rescued because they aren't following the warnings. Now, he says the department can ask people to stay away, but he can't force them to stay out. Back to you. Okay, thanks, George. Now, fire crews say the women who were rescued were not hurt, and the Pecos keeps rising. 